Now in this lecture we will see what is a noise vibration and harshness uh, in short form it called as a NVH and some uh, uh, literature uh, instead of NVH they supposed to call it NNV so it's noise, uh, noise and vibrations so before going to proceed this terms NVH we must know what I, what is the noise what is a vibration and what is the harshness so in the previous video uh, I think you have understood what are the NVH but then also uh, in this lecture we will supposed to discuss in a uh, uh, very simple manner to understand the NVH okay. so first of all we must understand why noise occur during the vehicle uh, are performing their task okay or any noise uh, what is the reason to generate any kind of noise and first of all we must know what is a noise we know the sound is there different sounds are there okay but that sounds become noise whenever it disturbs uh, any activity means whenever this sound become irritating or this uh, sound become uh, responsible to damage some concent kind of concentration, some kind of com comfort level of passenger or any person, then that sound become a noise. Initially, uh, we can't say any all the sound is a noise. Noise are only such a kind of sound which responsible to irritate someone or to which is responsible to uh, uh, make a uh, what we can say uh, which can disturb someone okay or which can damage someone or which create a noise which create a pollution sound pollution so such noise uh, sound is called as a noise but in case of the automobile noise occur just because of the vibration not only in uh, automobile every noise are just occur because of the vibration only in a human mouth also uh, there are the tongue which supposed to vibrate and it due to its vibration noise will occur our sound come uh, uh, coming out okay similarly in case of the mic uh, electronic mic also there is a one uh, uh, small uh, curtain of uh, uh, different metal is there uh, due to the sound uh, wave that uh, curtain supposed to vibrate and the, on the basis of their vibration frequency sound get transformed in the form of the electronic signal so vibration is the main cause to create a sound and when that sound become irritating that time it become a noise okay so this is the thing you have to first of all understand vibration is the main cause of creating a sound and whenever sound become irritating that time it become a noise okay so vibration and noise are in interdependent so main source of sound or noise is nothing but the vibration so there are n number of objects are uh, present in the automobiles okay uh, start from the tires okay which having a road contact with respect to the irregular road surface it's supposed to have a uh, uh, rolling resistance uh, it have their damping action uh, suspensions are there uh, different springs are located inside the suspensions okay after that uh, if we look for the transmission system different uh, high speed rotating uh, shafts are there okay uh, all those shafts are rotating at high speed all uh, all the four wheels or the two wheels of vehicle are rotating at high speed even though our piston uh, inside the cylinder block reciprocating at the high speed okay so whenever wherever the misbalance are take place in the previous lecture uh, video we have seen if mass distribution over the entire periphery of any rotating object is not balanced properly okay uh, the, i think the example of propeller shaft you have seen okay there is small small weight in grams are supposed to be welded on the propeller shaft in order to balance it properly because propeller shaft rotate at very high rpm so whenever this balancing is are not proper whenever tire is not properly balanced okay in case of the tire and, and the wheel okay wheel balancing is there not tire balancing wheel balancing is there so in case of the wheel balancing we are uh, there also we are supposed to have a small small weight on the periphery of alloy wheels okay so uh, whenever balancing is proper that time vibration starts okay and vibration uh, start uh, only responsible 
when frequency of application force frequency of application force is matches with the natural frequency of that particular object now may ask me what is a natural frequency simple it is very simple natural frequency is the frequency at which any object supposed to oscillate it supposed to oscillate freely without any external uh, force for example uh, if uh, just uh, we have we, we supposed to take an example of pendulum just a minute suppose this is a thread on this thread suppose this mass is located and this thread is supposed to be tied on wall okay this is a rigid support so that's why i'm showing like this and whenever i just raising that pendulum this is called as a simple pendulum okay so whenever i am raising this pendulum at this height and just leaving from this height then this pendulum supposed to be a have moment like this okay it's called as a oscillation it's supposed to oscillate this point to this point this point to this point so the frequency means within a one second how many oscillation done by this simple pendulum is nothing but the frequency and that frequency is nothing but the natural frequency of this simple pendulum means without any means what i am doing i am just holding this pendulum at that height and just leaving once i am leaving no any force i am applying on it this oscillation are take place freely only thing is that i just hold that pendulum at uh, i just leave the pendulum from this height after that all the oscillation done by the pendulum itself okay so the uh, the uh, number of oscillation completed by this pendulum within a sec uh, within a 1 minute okay or for a 60 second okay this is called nothing but the pen uh, frequency uh, fre natural frequency of this pendulum so similarly all the objects it may be a metal object it may be a rubber object or non metal object it may be a human being also every object in the universe having their some natural frequency okay so whenever the natural frequency uh, of any component are matches with the frequency of application frequency of application means uh, if uh, the simple example if i uh, if i want to take then nothing but uh, suppose uh, i am supp uh, i am hammering uh, i am doing hammering on one bolt okay so how much time i supposed to hammer on that bolt within a 1 minute how many time i supposed to hammer on that bolt within a 1 minute this is nothing but the frequency of application force frequency of application force means suppose 12 times i supposed to hammer on that bolt within a 1 minute then frequency become 12 hertz okay and if that bolt also having natural frequency 12 hertz then my hammering frequency and the natural frequency of that bolt matches whenever the natural frequency of bolt and natural frequency of my application force are matches resonance will happen and resonance creates a noise i mean to say resonance create a sound whenever that sound become irritating that sound we called as a noise okay so this is a thing how vi vibration responsible to create a noise or sound okay so to understand more uh, that vibration everything you uh, have to refer a physics first of all okay so there is a tuning fork is there uh, might uh, have you studied this thing tuning fork different uh, frequency uh, natural frequency of tuning fork uh, uh, is covered in the physics syllabus of the physics uh, you have to refer that thing so just remember uh, if you don't want to ref uh, refer the physics topic Uh, that topic uh, which is covered in the physics then you just remember uh, what i told you uh, whenever the natural frequency uh, or is matches uh, or uh, simple way whenever the frequency of application force are matches with the natural frequency of that particular object okay that time you supposed to have a noise okay similarly in case of the human being also whenever human uh, natural frequency of human being are matches with the 
uh, that application uh, uh, force of application frequency okay the uh, frequency of application for that time you one being also start to feel discomfort uncomfort uh, start to uncomfort uh, might be you uh, experience also if you uh, seated in a bus in uh, opposite direction okay if bus moving in forward direction okay and your uh, face is opposite direction okay uh, it, your your seat is not aligned to the direction of the bus that time you supposed to start feeling vomiting like okay so it just happened because of uh, your natural frequency here matches with the uh, force uh, frequency of uh, that force application force okay so that time you start to feel vomiting like uh, because uh, it is uh, it give you a resonance your body start to resonating internally resonating internally so due to that you start to feel omit omitting like feeling you supposed to have so this is just because of the uh, your natural frequency matches with the frequency of force application okay so similarly in case of the vehicle there are n number of components start from the bolts to the big engine okay or uh, uh, even though that uh, fluid it carries so everything having their it's a natural frequency and even the road uh, vehicle uh, sorry uh, the whenever the vehicle uh, are traveling across the road that time number of forces are there acting on the vehicle even though whenever the part are moving at the high speed rotating at high speed uh, because of the misbalance okay or uneven uh, mass distribution of shaft or uneven mass distribution of the alloy wheel there is a chances of vibration okay and it create a noise now another thing what is the harshness okay so vibration and noise is measurable quantity in the previous lecture we have seen there are uh, different things or this different instrument through which we can calculate the noise for noise we are supposed to uh, have a uh, decibel meter okay for vibration we have accelerometer so there are the things we have to uh, the, the noise and vibration we can measure with the help of the instrument but harshness is not a measurable quantity it is a, just a subjective quantity uh, now what is a subjective subjective means the such quantity jo human to human vary ho raha hai for example uh, some people likes a toughness some people like a softness okay and some people like a, a mid of them okay some kind of uh, uh, partially toughness partially softness so on that basis if uh, we compare a steering of uh, that um, mahindra thar and the steering of swift okay then steering of that thar somewhat more rough or rugged in the feeling as compared to the steering of swift so harshness is more in case of the thar steering and harshness is less in case of the swift steering swift steering is somewhat delicate if we compare the steering of thar or steering of the uh, swift a uh, similar the door handles of the thar and the door handle of the swift so door handle of swift is somewhat soft in touch the plastic they have the texture of plastic of door handle is somewhat soft and smooth but if we uh, have a look of door handle of thar then it is somewhat rugged or it's somewhat tough so that is called harshness so it is subjective called uh, quantity uh, or we can say subjective term some people like harshness some people like softness okay so degree of harshness may uh, zero when we are having a very soft part and degree of harshness is 100% when we are having more rugged atoms or more rugged components okay so this harshness we can't measure for the uh, to uh, have a uh, measure of harshness we have to take a oting okay we have to take a opinion of a uh, sample of population for example uh, we can take a vote uh, for the harshness of uh, among the 100 peoples on the basis of their opinion we can say the percentage of harshness and percentage of softness so no specific um, instrument we used to have a, a, or to uh, measure a harshness so harshness is subjective quantity uh, it vary man to man it may vary person to person some people feel it's not harsh they want more harsh or more tough tougher component some people feel this that much is uh, sufficient or this is a uh, optimum uh, toughness okay so it is not it not measurable so so noise and vibration is a thing which major and the harshness is the thing which can't major so now 
what is the effect of noise and vibration harshness doesn't have any effect okay harshness is just a uh, uh, we can say the er parts of ergonomic okay it's a man machine relationship harshness so uh, harshness doesn't have any effect but as it we uh, as we are calling as a nvh okay combinedly so that's why um, uh, i have quoted here effect of noise vibration and harshness so what is the effect of the noise vibration we will see the first effect external noise of the vehicle system is responsible to annoyance for the people in the vicinity vehicle so those people are suppose uh, if we uh, stand uh, 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 some uh, stand uh, with the diesel vehicle or st st stand near to the diesel vehicle and stand near to the petrol vehicle we definitely feel uh, the more noise coming out from the diesel vehicle whenever it's starting it just because of the high vibration level so to damn that vibration in case of the diesel vehicle what they supposed to do they supposed to enhance the mass so if you compare a mass of 1 liter diesel engine with the mass of 1 liter petrol engine you supposed to find the mass of 1 liter diesel engine somewhat more or it is bulky why because it have a lot of vibration because it have a big compression ratio to handle that much big pressure it have to have a big mass and it, whatever the vibration generates uh, due to that high compression ratio, high pressure, to damn that vibration, they have a bulkiness. So, whenever we supposed to stand near to the uh, diesel vehicle, you supposed to feel uh, the noise level is too much as compared to the petrol vehicle. But in case of the petrol vehicle, if any dog slip uh, uh, below that uh, diesel, petrol vehicle, in some ve in in case of the some vehicle, even that vehicle pass, then also that dog won't uh, come to know uh, the vehicle gone from uh, above um, uh, up from the that position so it is the uh, think of that uh, noise or level of noise reduced by uh, reduced in petrol vehicle but in case of the diesel we supposed to feel that noise are too much in case it increase the risk of hearing impairment with the prolonged exposure so whenever we are uh, experience this thing the noise or for a long time period so definitely it will uh, reduce your noise uh, your hearing efficiency okay it, it may uh, damage a uh, permanently after the interior noise responsible to reduce the comfort and concentration level of driver and passenger definitely if a uh, noise inside inside noise means what what parts look at inside the car there are parts like the, uh, that cup holder there are part like uh, uh, what we can say the uh, hand raise there are part like uh, dashboard panels okay door trims okay so number of uh, plastic component are located inside your vehicle okay but those all part if start to vibrate okay or start to resonance reson uh, start to create a resonance that time what happen it difficult to communicate with each other it, it start to uh, reduce the concentration level of the passenger and driver and normally such thing the resonance of the interior plastic part normally starts whenever vehicles traveling supposed to uh, traveling across the uh, rough uh, rough part or irregular road surface okay so normally that time it occurs because uh, only that time the natural frequency of your plastic component located inside the uh, passenger compartment or the car compartment are matches with the frequency of application force so this is the thing uh, only happen uh, during that time okay so to damp uh, those vibration we supposed to use a damper like a uh, rubber bushing and every uh, uh, fitment part or the cuz uh, that uh, what we can say that uh, rubber tubing see uh, tubing are located uh, to hold that part properly uh, uh, among the uh, among the that uh, dashboard panels okay so to damp the uh, vibration so these are the thing and uh, periodically whenever uh, uh, some span of years are uh, passes or uh, due to the aging those, uh, those rubber parts start to shrink those uh, rubber parts start to swell it become hard uh, time uh, time to time so due to that it uh, they uh, difficult uh, they uh, what lagging to damp the vibration due to their hardness okay it is aging factor which happen uh, after span of the uh, time after that excessive vibration uh, leads to early failure of system and subsystem definitely vibration is there the, uh, the vehicle star vehicle component are start to uh, making a friction uh, among the it, itself okay start making friction among the itself due to that a wear may happens and due to that where the a uh, failure may 
or possible early failure may possible of system and the subsystem now vibration limit the performance of the vehicle definitely whenever uh, if uh, if driver itself uh, 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 notice that after 4000 rpm vehicle start to vibrate excessively then definitely he he or she will not be uh, race or rev its vehicle beyond that 4000 rpm and uh, it also reduce the output of uh, vehicle in terms of the horsepower okay so because every body or every component single bolt are start vibrating so definitely vehicle will not give uh, 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 that much output okay and uh, there is a chances of leaking a pressure to the uh, head of the way, uh, head of the engine even though power transmission is not take place properly so these are the things uh, may happen whenever excessive vibrations are there in some cases uh, customer demand a special quality of noise rather than the quieter vehicle now so this thing are only happen in case of the exhaust noise okay so there are exhaust notes are there different different exhaust notes are there uh, this is not regarding to the vibration okay this is regarding to the purely noise okay and this noise which we have we supposed to discuss here are not related to the performance because whenever we talk about the no vibration uh, noise created due to the vibration of passenger compartment engine component okay those are responsible to fail your component those are responsible to fail your uh, or reduce your performance but in some cases customer demand a special quality of noise for example if we compare a uh, royal enfield or bullet with pulsar then definitely the uh, sound which create by bullet or the uh, uh, that royal enfield are uh, what we can say signature sound of that uh, brand okay so similarly there are vehicle uh, there are bikes or there are cars present uh, ferrari or porsche or uh, lamborghini they have they have their signature sounds okay so, uh, or the sound which representing that brand okay so definitely uh, the oems are try to uh, generate a some kind of sound some quality of sound purposefully to to uh, represent their brand okay so similarly royal enfield having the, uh, the that particular sound note uh, the pulsar uh, the bajaj having their particular sound note kawasaki having their pulsar uh, specific sound uh, note or signature sound ferrari having their specific or uh, uh, what specific sound note so it representing their brand so those sound are generated due to exhaust system those are not at all having a uh, contribution or responsibility to damage uh, other engine component because those are just created on the basis of the uh, shape and size of the muffler okay so those will not affect on the um, damage of or failure of the other component so it is, is purposefully created okay after the harshness is a subjective quality and vibration and noise is a major effect which we have already discussed now hence to control a failure due to vibration and pollution due to noise some standard governed by the SAE on international level okay so to control a failure due to the vibration okay uh, uh, the, those vibration which is created by the engine compartment those engine component those vibration which is created by the transmission component like propeller shaft gear shaft uh, gear box differential okay those vibration created by the road wheels are responsible for the failure those noise created by the exhaust system are responsible for the noise pollution okay thing you have to under, understood those noise created or created by the exhaust system are responsible for the noise pollution and those vibration uh, vibration uh, those sound created by the such vibration for like uh, misbalance of the transmission system or the gearbox or the differential or the engine component are responsible for the failure okay so for such cases SAE that is Society of Automobile Engineering govern some standard on international level okay so uh, in BS6 uh, emission norms also there are uh, uh, some new the norms are coming into the picture okay they reduce the noise level uh, coming out from the automotive from the different compartment or for the different class of the vehicle so those are nothing but okay so those are this is the chart uh, which we have for the different vehicle uh, on the basis of the noise and the vibration so two wheeler vehicle in case of the two wheeler vehicle current we have 75 to 80 
we, uh, in the base 4 vehicle 75 to 80 decibel no noise are acceptable but in case of the BS6 uh, noise level acceptable uh, from the two wheeler is 70 to 75 so this noise level is uh, coming out from the exhaust system it's a uh, this noise level whatever it uh, presented on this slide is a combined noise level or uh, noise generated from the engine component as well as noise uh, generated from the exhaust system so on uh, com uh, com on combined level we supposed to discuss here to so 70 to 75 decibel noise is allowed to come out from the two wheeler in case of the passenger car petrol uh, driven three wheelers 75 to 77 in case of the bs4 now in case of the bs6 it's 70 to 75 passenger or light commercial vehicle uh, diesel driven three wheeler with gross vehicle weight gvw is nothing but the gross vehicle weight up to 4000 kg that is uh, it's all about four ton okay it's 77 to uh, in the uh, bs6 uh, sorry bs4 and in case of the bs6 74 to 77 okay after passenger or commercial vehicle with gross vehicle weight above 4 kg to the 12 kg. In the BS4 it was 80, in the BS6 now it is 77 to 80 decibel. In the passenger or commercial vehicle with the gross vehicle weight above 12,000 kg, now it's big, it's 82 decibel in BS4. In case of the BS6 vehicle it is 77 to 80 decibel. So, this chart I have taken from the IC engine by SS Thipse. So, you, you may refer uh, SS Thipse for the NVH parameter, okay? NVH uh, to understand the causes and uh, control parameter, uh, control the uh, NVH of, of the automotive. So, you can refer this book, okay? Just for the, uh, this uh, subtopic, NVH, okay? It is uh, nicely explained in uh, IC engine by Thipse. Now, these are the causes or the sources of the vibration we supposed to discuss. So, in the engine, overall from the overall noise which is coming from the automotive, out of that, engine supposed to contribute 28 to 30 percent noise level. Exhaust system supposed to contribute 30 to 35 percent. Intake system 10 to 15. There is a sound coming from the intake system also. Okay, suction suction noise. Fan and cooling system also creates a noise, okay, it's 80 to 10. Transmission system uh, give you a 10 to 15, tar give you 10 to 15 percent. So, out of that, out of that, engine and exhaust heavy, exhaust system have a more number of contribution, more percentage of contribution to, uh, uh, to create a noise, okay. So, in case of the engine noise and vibration, the sources are combustion forces, reciprocating forces rotating forces in case of the engine huh? so combustion forces means uh, there are combustion forces like suction force exhaust force okay after that uh, during the power stroke the power uh, pressure or the indicated mean effective pressure are uh, acting on the piston to push it down okay so those com combustion forces which we can see in the p theta diagram Okay, the uh, combustion phenomena in SI engine and combustion phenomena in CI engine, that graph, if we, uh, if we have studied in the IC engine, there you can see the P pressure, how pressure are changing with respect to the uh, a crank angle, P theta diagram, uh, which we have referred in the combustion of SI engine and the combustion of CI engine. So, there are combustion forces acting on the piston. So, due to that, vibration are generated and due to the vibration, noise are uh, supposed to be generated. After reciprocating forces are there, High, uh, if multi cylinder engines are there, so it have a, a different firing order, and with respect to the firing order, it having a reciprocating forces. Okay, Rotate, rotational forces are there, crankshafts are rotating at high speed, camshafts are rotating at high speed. Okay, so uh, it having if it have a misbalance, it supposed to uh, uh, at particular uh, location misbalance, so it start to create a vibration, and that vibration responsible to noise after that exhaust noise induction noise fan noise and noise uh, radiation from the engine surface so those all are noise are coming from the engine now engine noise vibration reduction method what are the method to reduce the engine noise all those noise we reduce by using this method so first thing is control of engine forces we can use a thing like damping or counterbalance weight we can use counterbalance weight to reduce a uh, combustion forces 
okay so in some vehicle uh, like three cylinder engine or in case of the two cylinder engine or even though in case of the r15 there in case of the uh, yamaha two wheelers that above 150 cc you supposed to uh, uh, notice there inside the in, uh, engine compartment one counter shaft is there which is uh, engaged with the crank shaft and that counter shaft or counter balance shaft are exactly rotating opposite direction for example crank shaft rotating in clockwise direction then then, then this that counter balance shaft are rotating in anti clockwise and it mesh with that crank shaft with the help of one idler gear in order to balance the combustion forces so this those are thing those things we can do in case in case to uh, balance the combustion forces okay after that control of engine noise by damping we can use a good quality of damper at the engine foundation whenever uh, wherever we are so uh, uh, we are um, hanging our engine on the chassis at that point we supposed to have a good quality or a big size of damper you know uh, at the foundation bolt okay so uh, noise or vibration will not supposed to transfer or that force of engine force are not supposed to transfer on the chassis so due to that vibration can damp after the noise control by sound radiation efficiency noise control by sound radiation efficiency is nothing but a good mass of uh, uh, if we make uh, any object somewhat bulky okay then it uh, that uh, that particular component itself start to damp their vibration so this is another thing noise control by sound radiation efficiency after that noise reduction by using acoustic enclosures if we use a proper uh, sealed compartment for engine proper sealed compartment for passenger if we use a layer of layer insulation sound insulation inside the passenger compartment inside the engine compartment okay inside the boot space then all the noise generated inside that compartment won't come out and your vehicle become more silent okay so definitely uh, due to that only if you you supposed to uh, notice inside the bonnet there is one um, a specific uh, type of cloth shield are uh, present inside the uh, that um, uh, bonnet inside uh, inside inside portion of that uh, bonnet okay even though in your uh, passenger compartment uh, one specific layer of cloth is present uh, inside the car dome okay so just because to uh, uh, restrict the noise coming uh, coming in from the outside atmosphere so this is a noise insulation so noise reduction by using acoustic enclosure is uh, used to reduce the noise level after the noise reduction by sound absorber similarly uh, as i uh, 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 discuss in this fourth point in acoustic enclosure so uh, while making this acoustic enclosure we can use a sound absorbing material in, uh, in that uh, insulation so it get absorb whatever the sound wave coming from the outside atmosphere get absorbed by that sound absorbing material after aeroacoustic technique so this is aeroacoustic technique is nothing but the shape and size of the component we can manage in such way okay which create a low level frequency of noise okay so this is the, these are the thing or the solution which may use to have a low level noise generation from the automobile okay and all those noise are developed or the source of all those noise are nothing but the vibration and the vibration are only occur whenever that natural frequency of any component are matches with the frequency of force or application forces frequency of the application force so all that automotive designer keeping in mind what is the optimum over what was the what is the maximum frequency of application force how to sustain uh, how to have to face by that component by keeping in that keeping in mind this frequency they supposed to design a particular component uh, or they supposed to design a, a component uh for that particular natural frequency so the always natural frequency of any object designed for particular force application are kept higher by the designer so for example uh, i have to design a piston for the force application frequency of force application of 20 or uh, 200 hertz then but obviously i keeping a natural frequency of my piston about 200 hertz 
are supposed to design a piston of natural frequency 300 hertz. So there is a 100 hertz difference between a force application frequency and the natural frequency of the my piston. So definitely uh, vibration will be uh, chances of developing a vibration is very less. So in, while designing any vehicle, uh, any component, designer are keeping uh, uh, keeping mind the thing we should have a component such a way which having a natural frequency more than their force application frequency. Okay. So this is the thing noise vibration and harshness we have discussed here. Uh, for the more detail of those uh, source and the uh, solution to reduce the vibration. Uh, I suppose to share you uh, the uh, notes from that SS Thipse book. So you, you can refer uh, for the more detail of those uh, solution and the causes. Okay. Uh, if you feel any difficulty, please uh, ask me in our comment section. Thank you.